Well, Summerfest equals Blobfest. This week we are in Phoenixville, and it's not all about the movie, the blob. We're talking about the food. Justin Torrey, tell us, tell us more about all the good stuff. Good to see you. We. Hi, hi, Yuki. We got it all here in Phoenixville. Certainly, Blobfest and the running out of the theater, which we're you're especially going to do tonight. Yes. But we're going to have you covered on all of that. But the other great thing about walking down Bridge Street here are all the mom and pop stores, the independent stores that really have wonderful stories and wonderful things to buy. Yeah, there's just a feeling. But speaking of the movies, what goes with the movies, Jess? Right, candy, candy, mm -hmm. candy 100. percent That yep. was very quick. Yeah, I am on it. Uh, now, if you're looking for chocolate. Look no further than the best in Phoenixville, which is Bridge Street Chocolates. When it comes to chocolate shops, we're all kids in a candy store. I mean, how is it even possible to decide what delectable treat to eat? This is Bridge Street Chocolates in downtown Phoenixville. It's owned by Gail Warner, and this shop is a dream come true. A dream that she fulfilled after the death of her father. He was only 48 years old. It made me realize how quickly life passes. Seize the moment, because you don't have tomorrow. You have today. So, after spending decades in a corporate job at age 47, Gail decided to become a chocolatier. I want to make chocolate. But I want to be a part of a community. I want to serve people. And oh boy, does she serve. You have so many things that you offer, in particular, some gourmet marshmallows. We developed all the flavors, vanilla, peanut butter, espresso, mm. coconut butter rum, and bourbon cinnamon. Let's make some marshmallows. You may not realize it, but there's a science to making marshmallows. You want a creamy, fluffy marshmallow. I helped make a batch, and it took all of my willpower not to dive right into the gooey goodness. The trick for us is to not cook it too, too long, but just enough. Okay. Um, because that's the difference between super spongy marshmallows and creamy, fluffy marshmallows. You're going to slowly speed it up, but not too fast because we don't want it to come splashing right, right. out. Okay, you, you trust me? I trust you. So now we're going to wait, see if it fluffs up, see if we did it right. <laughs> so give it a spin, give it a taste. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. It's good, right? I can't out. wait to see <laughs> what's next. After the marshmallow mixture sits in the fridge for an hour, it's time to cut it in squares and dip away. Peanut topping. Bravissimo. That's gorgeous. The marshmallows leave me speechless. And you know they're perfect when they squish. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, who is drooling? <laughs> Look at those gorgeous mallows. These are some of the chocolate dipped mallows that Gail makes. And all I can say is, go Gail, go Gail, <laughs> go Gail. And Gail knows uh, that I couldn't even wait for the chocolate to harden. That's no, what I heard. I heard she, she just took it. She couldn't. We're yeah. dipping, we're dipping. She put on the apron like a professional. And then she was just like, okay. So I said, just put it there. We're going to yeah. let it chill. Let it chill. No. no. Didn't no, have time for that, put Gail. It in my mouth. No, yeah. Right now. Right now, there. Yeah, I want to ask you, we've got the blob chocolates yes. here. Tell me about those because they're so fun and they have a special box too. They do because mm -hmm. the Colonial yes. is such a fabulous yes. theater and that's why we have the blob because mm -hmm. it was filmed there. So these are three, milk, dark, and white, okay. all combined with pistachio, craisin, and pretzel bits. Mm -hmm. Little chewy, little crunchy, little tart, little salt on top, and they're in a little custom box. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm having the... one of those moments where I can't wait anymore. Yeah, just get that in. No, right. I'm just going to, okay, while I do this, can you tell everyone why Bridge Street is so significant in the start of your business? Yeah, I guess when I was in my early 20s, I wanted to open a chocolate shop. Mm -hmm. And I lived in Titusville, New Jersey. It's where I grew up, just one town south of Lambertville. And I wanted to open a shop on Bridge Street. Right on Bridge Street. And so I realized I had to grow up a little bit. I didn't know enough about chocolate or business. Mm -hmm. So I did the corporate thing. And so when I came and found Phoenixville, it was kind of serendipitous. Oh, yeah. oh my God, it's Bridge Street right. again. So it was meant to be. Well, let me tell you something. Time really did you well, Gail, because <laughs> they're delicious and I love the salt on those oh, blocks. Oh, I know. The, right? the salt. Just I'm just going to. One more. I'm going to get into those as yeah. soon as okay. I'm going to tell the people what's coming up next. That's and then, a good then idea. I'm following up. Gail, thank you so much. Thank it's so much. good to meet you. you. Listen, we ran into a familiar face here in Phoenixville. It's one that you all 